Betraying the trade caravan is nothing new to RimWorld. Whether letting them fight your raid by themselves, shooting the pack animals so that they bleed out and drop the cargo, or even killing the whole caravan and take all their goods. Whatever the strategy, the game always seems to punish you for misbehaving. The faction that was betrayed will eventually turn hostile and send raids after raids to your home. But what if there's a way to cheat the system? What if I tell you not only can you seize all their cargo, but also gain goodwill and become an ally of their faction? That's what I discovered a few months ago. However, in that video, you need a dining room near your caravan, and you need them to enter the room to do the trick. Today, I will show you how to capture the caravan right where they gather, and much faster than before. So, you need to build the room enclosing the caravan where they stand. The room needs to have a door, and remember to stash the material to block that door later. Here I use heater and a charged battery to heat the room. But since I didn't cut all the trees in the room, that would take too long and the caravan will leave. So, I prepared some more wood to burn to help heating the room. You can heat the room entirely by fire. But beware, that would raise the chance of burns and thus death to the caravan members, damaging goodwill. If you do use fire, place it in the corner of the room where the caravan members are less likely to be, minimizing burns. Near the fire, remember to use stone walls instead of wood. You don't need to build the room out of wood, actually stone would be better. But for me, wood is faster to build and is readily available. So just use whatever you have. After finishing the room, install the battery to start the heaters and set the fire to the wood. Try to hit only one stack of wood and let the fire slowly burn through the other stacks. The fire would then last longer and less likely to cause spontaneous combustions. Try to get as many caravan members in the room as possible, especially the pack animals, before sealing the room. Finally, seal the room and wait. The caravan member will realize the trap and start digging the wall. Now select any pawn and kill them to repair. The pawn don't need to actually repair the wall, they just need to reserve it. For some reason, caravan members will respect this reservation and go dig elsewhere. After this, you just need to wait for the heat shock to set in.
when you see the human collapse, it means that the spec animals will collapse soon. Time to draft some of your pawns and prepare for the rescue mission. When the animal is finally collapsed, it's time to rescue the human out for recovery. This is why the room needs a door. It helps keep the item dropped from the caravan safe from deterioration. The door also maintains the temperature inside the room so that the human don't wake up before being rescued. After they're all outside, remember to tend to any burn in the caravan members, otherwise you may not gain goodwill for rescuing them. When you are done, deconstruct the beds so that the caravan members immediately return home. Here we have some side trainers, solar pinhole and chunk skip, a lot of hyperweave, a flat screen TV. Let's use the solar pinhole to see things clearer. So we have a telescope, some gold, Literal medicine, a mega screen TV, a psychic insanity lance, a psychic suit poster, and lots of components, plus steel, silver, and weapons. Let's see the goodwill we would gain from all of this. So we got from negative to the maximum amount of goodwill overnight. Obviously this strategy is very cheesy, so refrain yourself from using it too often. So that's all for this video, I hope you liked it. And if you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing and tell me down in the comments. In the meantime, happy gaming.